In Pokemon Red and Blue, Persian has a higher critical hit chance since critical hit is based on speed. In Celadon Game Corner, there's a specific slot machine that can increase the odds of winning. And there's a way to get across Cycling Road without a bicycle if you hold left on the D-pad while repeatedly pressing the B button. These are just a few tips and tricks that circulated since the late 90s, but the most notorious trick was the down B method. There was allegedly a way to increase the chance of catching a Pokemon by simultaneously holding both the B button and down on the D-pad at just the right time after throwing a Pokeball. It sounds very similar to the aforementioned Cycling Road trick, except the down B method didn't actually work. The only things that affected the capture rate in Red and Blue was the Pokemon's level slash HP level, status conditions, and the type of Pokeball used. Other than that, the Generation 1 games never took into account any button inputs after throwing a Pokeball to catch a Pokemon. Still, that hasn't stopped players from using the down B method in the more recent games. Online users said that even though they know it doesn't work, they still press down and B either out of habit or because psychologically, it feels like they're influencing the game. A few even believed in the superstition since they were able to catch Pokemon after pressing down and B. There are many variations of the down B trick, like holding up and B or down and A. Some will also either press, hold, or alternate between A and B. Over time, the superstition ended up evolving with the newer Pokemon games and the more advanced Nintendo DS consoles. With the DS featuring additional buttons, a touchscreen, camera, microphone, and gyroscope, players ended up doing ridiculous things like mashing seven buttons all at once, violently shaking their DS, holding it upside down, not holding it at all, tracing the shape of a Pokeball that's on the bottom of the DS's screen, looking away from the screen, staring intensely at the screen, holding their breath, jerking their head side to side as the Pokeball shakes, shouting gotcha into the DS's mic, sweet-talking the Pokemon, and even singing out loud, all in the hopes that the Pokemon catch rate will increase. Another amusing superstition is that caring too much about catching Pokemon means you're less likely to catch a Pokemon. Of course, none of these methods work, but perhaps the reason why players still believe in this superstition is because some Pokemon games have utilized the DS's features. In Pokemon X and Y, for example, you can interact with your Pokemon via the touchscreen and use the camera to mimic the Pokemon's movements. And other Pokemon games like Pokemon Platinum let you voice chat via the DS's microphone. So if Pokemon games can see and hear you, then maybe physically doing something to the DS could help you catch Pokemon. In Diamond and Pearl, for instance, you could insert Fire Red and Leaf Green cartridges into the DS to receive exclusive Pokemon. Additionally, secret mechanics in games have existed for a long time. Bayonetta, for example, has a hidden mechanic called Dodge Offset, where if you hold the attack button during a dodge, and then release the button at the right time, you'll be able to dodge attacks without losing your combo points. The game never explicitly teaches you how to use Dodge Offset, so if something as important as that exists in a game, then a hidden mechanic that increases the capture rate of Pokémon could possibly exist as well. In fact, Pokémon Black and White does have a mechanic called Critical Capture, which increases the likelihood of a random Pokéball capturing a Pokémon. The odds of this happening depend on how many Pokemon are in your Pokedex. What's more, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, putting a Pokemon with a Synchronize ability in the first slot of your party can increase the chance that your first Pokemon and Wild Pokemon have the same nature. So if all of this is possible, then it's not so far-fetched to think that specific button inputs could have an impact on the success rate of catching Pokemon. Some online users allege that technically, button inputs do slightly influence the random number generator in some portions of the game. However, it requires such perfect timing that it's usually reserved for tool-assisted speedruns. Every Pokémon has a catch rate between the number 0 and 255. The higher the number, the higher the chance of catching a Pokémon. Players have deconstructed the catch rate system mathematically using equations and graphs that'll make your head spin. This just goes to show how complex the Pokémon games really are. It's unknown where the downbeat superstition originated from. The first Pokemon games came out in Japan in 1996, then in North America in 1998. During this time, the internet was in its infancy, and social media didn't exist. People still used 56k modems, and the internet wasn't as centralized as it is now. Reddit, Twitter, and YouTube didn't even exist at the time, and so instead, people would visit random yet sketchy Geocities and Angel Fire websites for their information. It was harder to confirm what was real and what was fake back then, and as such, misinformation was easier to spread. More familiar websites like GameFAQs, CheatTC, and SuperCheats did exist, but they had some questionable Pokémon tips and tricks. It's also theorized that since Pokémon first came out in Japan, that people with no knowledge of Japanese simply guessed the game information and screenshots that were coming out of Japan. They would then post their findings and guesses online, and claim to know the facts. From there, word spread by mouth as many online users expressed that they heard about the downbeat trick from friends at school. Meanwhile, others said that they read about the downbeat trick in an official Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow strategy guide. 
An online user even asserted that Professor Oak gave a tip about the trick on the side of a page. However, after finding some of the strategy guides online and doing a cursory search, I couldn't find the tip myself. It makes you wonder why the down B trick was originally and specifically just down and B. Maybe it's because pressing down on the D-pad mimics closing the lid of a Pokeball. To this day, variations of the down B trick continue to persist. What's helped perpetuate the superstition over the years is that if players perform the trick and catch a Pokemon, then it's because the trick worked. But if they fail to catch a Pokemon using the trick, then it's because they didn't press the buttons at the right time. Alright, let's see if this works. I dug this up from my closet. I've had this for like 20 plus years. I have no idea if this works. Alright, the moment of truth. Wah wah. Nope, doesn't work. Dang it. Alright, the Game Boy does not work, so let's try the Game Boy Color. Now, this is actually in pretty good condition. Alright, here we go, the moment of truth. Oh my god. It's alive! It's alive! There we go, increase the volume. Oh, wow! <laughs> Oh, Lavender Town. <laughs> 